Our Mother Earth is always speaking to us. Uh, this is our Atlantic seasonal outlook and one of our most uh, highly anticipated announcements. Uh, and for good reason. Uh, as I think most people know, our coasts are becoming more populated. There are 153 million people living in our coastal areas in the United States. 53% of our population lives in coastal areas. And a good number of those Americans live in hurricane-prone areas. I'm Conrad Lautenbacher. I'm the Undersecretary of Commerce for Oceans and Atmosphere and the administrator of the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, better known as NOAA. NOAA is the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, and its mission is to provide um, Earth observation data in order to uh, steward the Earth's oceans and atmosphere. GEOS is the Global Earth Observing System of Systems, and its purpose is to provide um, a comprehensive, a coordinated, and a sustained observation of the Earth in order to um, understand the Earth, to monitor it, and to predict how it will behave over time. Communication is vital between the various sensors that collect and dispatch time-sensitive information about ocean and other Earth activity. GEOS is an acronym. Uh, it stands for the Global Earth Observation System of Systems. And it's basically a plan to uh, wire the world, to put together thousands and thousands of uh, sensors to provide real-time information on all of the Earth systems to help people uh, improve their economic status, their societal benefits, uh, and their quality of life. Everyone on the planet will benefit from it. It, uh, it right now is defined to serve nine specific societal and economic benefits, including uh, climate change, uh, severe weather, and uh, disasters agricultural issues, energy issues, water issues, biodiversity, issues with our oceans. Almost every part of life that you can think of will be affected directly by GEOS. GEOS is much broader than simply satellites. You look at um, the world from many different vantage points. Satellites provide you the big picture, the global picture, but then you look at uh, ground-based measurements, you look at airborne measurements, you look at subsurface measurements below the surface of water, for example. So it's the whole combination, the whole portfolio of, of measurements that's important in the observation of how our Earth behaves. Impacts along coastal areas require local emergency managers and local government officials to have accurate information which influences decisions to evacuate communities which lie in harm's way. GEOS contributes both from a predictive standpoint the observational capabilities afforded uh, to GEOS allow us to, pr to predict what's likely to happen in the future um, relative to severe weather events, as an example. And then in the wake of a disaster, they're very important in terms of remote observation and providing needed uh, critical information to um, disaster relief officials. A tsunami is a, a long wave on the surface of the ocean that's generated by some disturbance either like an earthquake on the earth bottom, a landslide, uh, could be a large meteorite for that matter hitting the earth. So it's like dropping a pebble in a, in a, in a uh, stream and watching ripples and waves come out. So waves are generated by an earthquake. Those waves travel very quickly over the surface of the ocean and they're magnified when they hit the beach just as you see normal breakers when you're down with your surfboard. The United States is susceptible to tsunamis both on the Pacific and in the Atlantic. On the Pacific, if you'll remember, we, uh, we refer to the Pacific Rim as the Ring of Fire. That's because of the subduction of tectonic plates and the number of earthquakes that are constantly occurring around that ring. Those earthquakes could cause tsunamis that would then hit the United States from Alaska down to California. We are also subject to tsunamis on the East Coast in the Caribbean area where there again are some plates that come together and create earthquakes. So we need to be prepared on, on both coasts of the United States for tsunamis. Preservation of life is undoubtedly one of the most important responsibilities NOAA is charged with. On December 26, 2004, a tsunami swept across the Indian Ocean, spawned by a magnitude 9.0 earthquake. Tsunamis represent an interesting challenge to all nations because no one nation can really warn against a tsunami. You need coverage, you need broad ocean coverage, and you need to have uh, real-time connection to uh, what we use today are deep 
uh, ocean pressure sensors that allow us to determine if there's some waves that are passing over the top of that sensor and be able to get that information to the public within 10 to 15 minutes. This is a big challenge, and right now we are in the process of essentially instrumenting the Earth. We're providing sensors around the Pacific Ocean, the Atlantic Ocean, and we're now beginning to help uh, the nations of the Indian Ocean place these sensors uh, online and put them in the network that will allow warning people in time. Hurricane Katrina was the most costly natural disaster ever to strike the United States, and also one of the most deadly. It just takes one hurricane to make it a bad year for everyone here. We have a great challenge in providing hurricane information in a way that people can understand and react uh, in, in the right proper amount of time. And we spend a great deal of effort ensuring that that message gets across from partnerships with the emergency management teams up and down our coasts uh, to partners with, uh, partnerships with our federal agencies that would provide help, as well as all of the regional efforts that are going on. So this is a full court press end to end to try to provide information to the American public. about preparedness. It's about getting the word out to the American public uh, that hurricanes are dangerous, they can be destructive, they can be lethal. It's our job to give you warnings in order that you can be prepared. We hope that everybody will have a safe uh, hurricane season for this year. I think that NOAA can be uh, even more effective as an organization than it is today. I believe that most of the issues we face with expanding population on the earth and use of natural resources are going to require more of agencies like NOAA. We need to understand our earth systems at a higher level than we do today. We need to be able to proactively uh, manage the way we react to, with those systems. If we don't do that, I think uh, that it's going to be very difficult for the human race to continue to survive in its current situation.